Hello lovelies, I hope you're all well. So Cricut have announced their theme for this week's Christmas Craft Along and the theme is Advent Calendars. I love Advent Calendars, they are just gorgeous. So we're going to do two today. One you've already seen which of course is my Maker Advent Calendar using the knife blade uh, and I will put that in once I've done this one and it'll just be a quick recap but I'll also put the full tutorial in the description box as well. So for this one I'm going to use some wood blocks that I got from uh, Made by Tree. They are plain wood blocks so you could use any. We're going to be using uh, vinyl, we're going to be painting, we're going to be using chalk paint and we're also going to be doing print and cut. Now for my print and cut, I would prefer to use printable vinyl for this. However, I have run out. So I'm going to use printable sticker paper, but as I say, I would prefer to use printable vinyl and probably when my printable vinyl gets here, I shall recut all my print and cut bits and just change it over. So I'm going to have three blocks all sat on top of each other. So this is going to be my top block. The black bit is going to be uh, chalkboard paint and then I'll be able to put the days of Christmas in there. My second block, these squares are going to be chalk paint and then I, this is going to be vinyl and this is going to be print and cut. And then my last block, this is going to be vinyl and these are going to be print and cut. So this font here is Christmas time and this font here is a child's year and I've just put the blocks behind them just to give me an idea of the space that I'm working with. So with this one I don't need the block so I'm just going to get rid of that. With this one I'm just going to move the print and cut out the way. So the white is the size of my block but the black is the size that I want my chalkboard paint to be. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and highlight. I've already centered it and I'm just going to slice. So it's going to become a stencil. So I can put this on the block and where I've got my recess square, I can then chalk paint that. So with this one, my picture is obviously a print and cut, so I don't need that. And then my text is all sorted so I can move those out the way. Now I just want to keep the red block for a second. I'm just going to come in and hide it. I've got these exactly where I want them. So I'm just going to come in and weld them together. These are going to be my chalkboard paints. If I then bring the red circle back, a circle, square, what is the matter with me? I'm just going to unlock it, I'm going to keep the height at 8 and let's just try 4 for the width or we can go less than that, let's do 2, there we go. We're then just going to highlight and align and centre everything and because we've welded these they're as one but they're also going to stay together and then all I'm going to do is slice and that will then give me a stencil just like this one for my chalkboard paint. So I've got my two stencils, I've got my two lots of vinyl and then I've got my print and cut. So we can then go to make it, we can then go to continue. Oh I just want to change that slightly, I just want to do a little bit more of a gap there. If you haven't done print and cut before, we have got lots of tutorials on print and cut. I'm not going to go through the printing side of it now. Uh, you can find those tutorials by going to playlists and then print and cut. As I say, in an ideal world, I'd be using printable vinyl, but as I haven't got any, I'm going to use printable sticker paper. I'm just going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to paper and just choose sticker paper. For my stencils, I'm using the Cricut Stencil Vinyl today. So I am going to do my Merry Christmas in Glitter Iron On, so I'm just going to go to Edit and then turn my mirror on.
So I've got my wood block here. This is from Made by Tree. It's got nothing on it, it's just plain. And I've got a wax candle. I'm just gonna come in with the wax candle and I'm literally just going to kind of rub it against the wood. And you do want to go in the direction of the grain of the wood as well. And you can feel the wax, you may not be able to see it, but you can definitely feel it. I've just got some antique white paint and I'm just gonna come in just with a thin layer and just paint my wood. And I want this, the whole point of this is I want it to kind of have a rustic feel to it. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't want, um, you know, it to be beautiful. I just want a kind of rustic look. You want to keep the paint as thin as you can. You don't want great big dollops of paint on there. We only want a light coat. I'm just gonna give that sort of 15, 20 minutes just to dry. So once it's dry, and it doesn't take very long if you've done a thin coat, we're gonna come in with an old rag or an old tea towel, and we're just going to rub it in the direction of the grain. And because we've waxed it, it easily, the paint easily will come off. If you want to have more of a rustic effect, if you get some water on your rag, you don't need a huge amount, you only need a little bit, and you're just gonna come in and again, just gently rub, and you'll get that lovely whitewash effect. So I've got some chalkboard paint here. I just got this from my local DIY store. And you also want to go in and make sure that your stencil vinyl is completely flush to your wood or any object for that matter. You do not want any gaps because you want your paint to sit around the stencil. We're then gonna go in with our first coat to leave it to dry and then once it's dry it's always worth going in with a second coat. Chalkboard paint can be unpredictable sometimes the first coat can go on really runny and really patchy but the second coat always thickens it up. Once it's dry you can peel back your vinyl. We can then come in and add our stickers. So I found some little bells, so I'm just going to place those on there using some hot glue and it will hide our little blob. My Cricut Iron On Glitter in red and I've also got my Cricut silicone sheet which I'm putting over. I've got my Easy Press set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. Once we've pressed, we want to allow it to cool down for about 20 seconds before we go in and peel. 